And good morning, lovely human being number one and number two. Yes. Good morning. Hi, can we guess? A little bit higher, Lancelot. You're not on her head yet. No. He's never happier than when mountaineering, is he? No. And I'm always terrified he's going to fall off my shoulder when I'm trying to edit and he's trying to sit on my shoulder at the same time. <gasps> and I have to hold him with one arm and edit with one arm. Oh my gosh, I think he just parted on me. <laughs> Oh, he is so spoiled. It is a most grey and murksome day, which is quite unfortunate because I have to go out there and plant today. Bonjour! Good to see the chapel restorer is already here. I now have a very, very important job to do before I start planting. I have to make Davy a hot chocolate. Probably myself on at the same time. Right, I have our drinks to go out. I am wearing my entire wardrobe all at once, so I think I must be ready. Ah, oh, sir, mighty Davy, hot chocolate to fuel you. Thank you. Looks as though you're weeding. No, I'm digging up the white persicaria that isn't doing The one very that well. didn't work. Yeah. Yes, okay. So I'm going to replace it with two different species that also have white flowers. Okay, lovely. Uh, but for that, I need to dig up the old ones first. All right, where do you want me to start? Well, I've set out the two beds up there. So you can plant all of those. Lovely, I'll go and do that. Yeah. Ready for everything. <laughs> well, this is my mission, should I choose to accept it? Yeah, so these are all the little pots, P9. They still need to be planted. I've already done the shrubs. Yes. I've already planted the plants I bought. There's something special about these plantless plants, isn't there? Yeah, I'll show you. They're in a box over there. I was quite uh, lucky to be quite near a nursery that sells rare perennials. This is a variety of Burginia, but this is a variety from India. So oh, it's incredible. It's much more draw tolerant. Uh, the problem was that the nursery I bought them closed two years ago. He said, oh, sorry, I've sold them. They're gone. Oh, no. <laughs> because he was just selling yes. everything that was still left. Um, but because I'd already ordered it, he said, I'll dig some up in the garden and I'll uh, divide them up and then I'll sell those. Oh, so he fabulous. actually dug up some of the ones that were in his established garden <laughs> and then uh, you can't tell that it was done by someone who's used to doing it because he cut them through the rhizome uh, where they can so that every piece of plant always has roots and growth points. So a little rare plant coming into the garden. Yeah they, it should be you should be the only chateau garden that has them. <laughs> <laughs> Until Dan comes and pinches some in the dead of night <laughs> only makes them much bigger. <laughs> Well, no, he can't make these bigger. They, they will grow quite big because the leaves get to about the size of a human head. Oh, I love big leaves. Okay, that's going to make me really happy. So that'll be quite spectacular. Yeah, from that, it'll be quite spectacular, certainly. Davy, we're not going to go hungry. <laughs> we can stop panicking. I have located dinner. <laughs> we're still digging up potatoes here. There's still quite a few of them. <laughs> Look, Still, look, look. it was really good using it, I think, because it helped break up the ground as well. No, no, that's true. So yeah. it was actually rather a stroke of genius on Kirsty's part. Putting the, oh, there's more! Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like walking through a potato salad. Uh, I think they've, oh, all, they've thrown them all... The little ones! They, they've thrown them all here because this soil can't be... It's yes. very difficult to do anything with it because of the roots of the... Conifer. This is going to be an issue, isn't it? We're going to suddenly get potatoes randomly coming up throughout the year now. They're easy to get out. Okay, good. No, no, no. And That's... delicious. <laughs> Davy promised me that this time I wouldn't be planting plantless plants. That is you, not a plant. You can still see some evidence of life. I'm looking for green, Davy. There's nothing green. It's winter, Steph. <laughs> and imagine that once it's planted, once it's not even in a little pot, it'll be invisible to the naked eye. It'll be just as visible as it is now. <laughs> this is quite soul-destroying. Dan, where are you when I need you? <laughs> Faffing around with four-metre yew trees. I'm going to start with these because they're the most soul destroying. So let's get these out of the way. I have all mod cons, uh, the most advanced knee pad known to the gardening world. Well, next time we turn around, it'll be finished. Boom. Th that would be really good. <laughs> have fun. I'm going to set up a time lapse now, but I'm going to do it on one condition. Please, could we not have any comments about how much weight the green smurf has put on? I would just like to point out that I have many, many jumpers under here, but it's the coldest weather we've ever had for planting, so plump smurf it is.
is done. Or so I thought. Did any of you notice it in the time lapse? I missed one. Uh-oh. You're not supposed to be above ground. Okay, one final push. In you go, my precious. Et voila. Now, I really have finished. I got all of these in. And what did Davy say? You all heard him. They'll still be visible once they're planted. Davy lied. Let's see if they're visible in the spring. Right, now I would like to go inside just so that I can start feeling my feet again. On the way, I'll show you what's been done. All of this side is now finished. All of this section is planted as well. Trust me, there's plants in there. Davy did this little section over here, which just leaves this large area, which is where the fountain's going. So we can't plant this one until after the fountain's in, in the spring. And the section on the other side of the hedge. And again, not much of this will be planted because we have to bring from the chateau water and electricity all the way along here over to the fountain. And now I'm going to tell you something, but you have to promise not to tell Dan. I really missed him doing the planting. It was so fun when we were planting out there together, seeing him fall apart, not wanting to plant a single other plantless plant. It wasn't the same without him, but I would die if he knew that. We were having leftovers of Marie's incredibly delicious meal from last night. Yes, I, I literally threw everything together. Oh, leftovers, so good. Leftovers from Philip, leftovers from the soup. I just threw all of it on one. <laughs> you need it because you're going back out there this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. You need strength. Wow, it's cold. My feet. I was. It was actually better when I couldn't feel my feet because I can feel them now mm. and that's not pleasant. I'm finally feeling warm and snug after a lovely bath. Are you doing some pre-dinner Christmas crafts? Yes. Just, I haven't had much time for Christmas today, what with the planting, but mm -hmm. I've just made Jane Austen. Ooh. Isn't she cute? I just got Emma. <laughs> so we had some that we made last year. We had Queen Elizabeth and a mm -hmm. few others. And when we decorate this room in a couple of days' time, I want to have them peopling Jared's chateau. Oh, And I got lovely. two more this year. So we have Jane Austen and I'm just about to start... Emily Bronte. I haven't got long before dinner, but I want to try and get as far with dear Emily as I can. <laughs> so I just, all you do is you cut around. Uh -huh. and actually, I think it'd be really fun to do this next year, but make our own designs. Oh, that'd be so really cute. all the cute. little people of the chateau yes. and then just transfer it onto fabric because you just cut around the front and the back. So almost all the way around and then stuff it with wool and finish it. And look, it's just absolutely darling. I still have to put a little thing. You can hang them, but because mm -hmm. we're going to use them there, I'm not sure I'll bother. Just peeking out the windows, wandering through the courtyard. It's a very author-heavy addition. Definitely. We should maybe put her on a little stand as well, so that she can be in the middle of the courtyard. Or just peeking out of the windows. Oh, I do love Jane Austen. <laughs> is she your favourite author? I think she is my favourite author. I know that it's a bit of a cliche, loving Jane Austen, but <laughs> there's a reason for it. I mean, uh, don't let Emily Bronte hear you. Is she at least a favorite, your favourite of the Bronte sisters? No, I don't think she is, actually. No, I don't think Poor so. Poor Emily. <laughs> this is very soothing after gardening, actually. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying myself. Nearly halfway round. A bit of Bronte after gardening. I know you're enjoying yourself, but we've just been called through to dinner. I know. You can pick up after dinner. All right, Emily will have to wait. Yes. Hanny's <laughs> night in the kitchen. Yeah, you right, have been hiding your skills under a bushel. Well, it looks amazing. Mm. Look, you look very unsure, but I know it's going to be well, delicious. Because I can smell it. Oh, okay. <laughs> air Roast potatoes in the air fryer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, OK. Doubly excited. Did you see they use the turbo mix and the air fryer at the same time? Whoa. Boom. Yes. If anyone's wondering why my aunt and uncle are relegated back to the end of the table and no proper plates <laughs> you're going to get natty and amory so hopefully we'll see them very very soon here yes, yes. tomorrow morning yay tomorrow morning. michael's tucking mm. into yesterday's leftover soup <laughs> Lally, it, can you just the world's not bad honestly i'll set the alarm for 8 8 28 <laughs> two minutes to get ready <laughs> 
it's, it is 829. It's only, I have a minute. The full minute to enjoy that soup. I'm savouring the soup. <laughs> <laughs> right, John. <laughs> soup today. Oh, it's just in the sunset. Oh, 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 I'm going to get a bruised shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 